Today I'm going to share with you a few of the most common meningitis treatment as well as treatment involving alternative medicine so that way you can kind of you know look at both things and compare things. Now before I do begin down below I am giving away a free video based guide all about uh, shopping for dietary supplements as well as alternative medicine. Now I'm going to start this video off with a question, a somewhat controversial one. I just want your thoughts on this. What do you think is more important to the body, the brain or the heart? It's kind of an interesting question. Well, no matter which one you choose, the human body thinks the brain is pretty important. And you know, apart from the skull that protects it, there's this fluid that protects the brain. And uh, then there's this membrane or meninges. Now, if, these, uh, this, if this membrane becomes swollen, it's known as meningitis. Now, most of the time, what causes this like a, it's like a viral infection. This causes the inflammatory response. Now, since the brain is such an important organ, very important, the real danger is permanent damage, which is rare, but it, it's, it's there. It's a danger. Which is why getting good treatments are always a, a great, great idea. Now, the type of uh, treatment that usually is uh, prescribed to somebody and used really depends on what causes the disease. Now, for example, if it's a bacteria that's causing it, which, which could happen, then oftentimes antibiotics are used. Now, of course, the bad news to antibiotics medicine is they, they can be expensive. They can give off some unwanted uh, side effects. Uh, they also can kill off the healthy bacteria in someone's digestive system. That's not good, as well as enable bacteria to kind of build a little resistance to them. There's an interesting history about you know, when they first got used, everybody's using antibiotics and then they kind of train the bacteria to kind of become resistant of them. Now, their idea would be to, of course, use herbal remedies, uh, which can also kill off the un unwanted germs. There's, there's really some tons of options out there, but a few great choices which I'm going to share would be, would be of course, olive leaf extract, which is definitely great, garlic, there's golden seal, there's echinacea, and there's actually another type of uh, echinacea that's even more powerful. It's called the andrographis. And another idea is if you if you take antibiotics, it, it, because it kills off the good bacteria, you might want to consider probiotics, which grow the good bacteria, or something called prebiotics, which is actually much better. So there's two ideas for you. Now, of course, the next culprit, which can cause which can, can cause meningitis, uh, would be a viral infection. And, and of course. You know, virus is different from bacteria because they're not really alive. They're just a tiny amount of DNA with some protection around them, and they, they need to get into like a host cell and infect them, and then they, of course, make this factory where they start producing all those viruses. Now, if you see a doctor for a viral infection, you can't really use antibiotics. So you are probably get prescribed to you know, get a lot of rest, drink lots of fluids, kind of build up your immune system so you can fight it off. And these are some great ideas, but apart from this, you know, you can do some things that kind of boost up your white blood cells and enable you to fight off even faster and more. Now, one idea would be something called Olothero, uh, which can slow the growth of viruses. And according to Wikipedia, a study showed that taking Olothero, which is like a, Siber like a Siberian ginseng, can increase the number of white blood cells and T cells to, to kill off viral infections. So that can help. There's a lot of greater, more ideas. Of course, I can't share everything in this video, but uh, if you're interested in alternative medicine and, and herbs and supplements. Like I mentioned, I highly recommend you check out that uh, that free video guide I talked about earlier. It gives you some great ideas when it comes to shopping for products, supplements, and herbs. It gives you some great uh, you know, ideas and thoughts when it comes to alternative medicine to, to solve problems and really build up your immune system and, and do a lot of fun, really interesting stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, just click on the link below the video. It's right there in the description and you can learn more. I really appreciate you giving me your time. If you have any other thoughts about the meningitis, please share them in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, I really would appreciate a thumbs up. That would mean a ton of me. It would make my day. So please click on that little button, that little thumbs up button. Give it to me. And uh, until next time, have a great, great day. Bye.